it's Mac Lover 65 and I'm going to be doing this look for you today and the eyes are pretty neutral there are some pinks and purples in it but the only reason that I did that was because this lip color is a bright fuchsia ish purple well fuchsia is the perfect word to describe it it's it's very purple based and this was requested by one of my viewers and um, I was like okay how am I going to do a look with this well, a lot of people, when they do huge bright lips, they have, you know, their eye makeup just is so, so, so subtle, and that's just not me. Um, I do like to have eye makeup, and I do like to see my eye makeup. Like, I like to see liner, and I like to see mascara. And But I did kind of tone it down today. Um, yeah, you can see the eyeliner, but um, the eyes are pretty neutral, but you can see pinks and purples, which will tie in the lip a little better. But my cheeks, I went very, very subtle. I went with more of like a, a strawberry pinkish color. And I absolutely love it. It's just a subtle hint that just gives your cheeks just nice flush. So I hope you guys like the look. And kind of to tone the gloss, the lip down, I put Rags to Riches on my lips for MAC. And I love the way it looks. It gives my lips just this, I love the way that this fuchsia looks with this gloss. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys at the end. Bye guys. So first things first, we're going to prime our eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion. My base, I'm using Milk from NYX and applying this all over my eye and blending out. I'll be using a Trina Tarantino palette and I'm taking a nice soft baby frosty pink and applying this all over my lid. Out of the bearded barley, lightly, beside the green, green grass. Taking more of a champagne pink, I'm going to apply this all over my lid and then take a little bit up to my crease. Taking a pink brown, I'm going to apply this into my crease, and Max Club, I want to say it's called, would work as well. I took a very deep, dark plum color and applying this to my outer corner and contouring my crease. Making a frosty white, I'm going to apply this to my brow bone and inner corner to highlight. Blend out. black fishnets, I'm going to apply this to my upper lash line and it is a very, very dark black, which I love. Now you're going to curl your lashes and apply lash primer. In Hypnos Drama by Lancome, I'm going to apply this to my lashes and this makes my lashes look very dramatic and full. Petrol Blue by MAC, I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line. Apply mascara once again. Taking the same shade of plum, I'm going to apply this onto my lower lash line and then I'm going to be taking a white color and applying this to my inner corner to brighten. Now we're going to prime our face with Back Out Primer. Dermal blend. I'm just going to put it on some of my darker freckles, and this is just like concealer, but it covers up birthmarks, freckles, or any unwanted blemishes. Now, taking my Chanel foundation, I'm going to apply this all over my face, and this way I don't have to use so much a foundation since I use my Derma Blend. Now taking my Makeup Forever Concealer, I'm going to take the darkest shade and also the second darkest shade and mix them together. I'm going to be taking a Mineralized Skin Finish in Light by MAC and applying this all over my face to set my makeup. Take any bronzer you want, but I'm using a MAC bronzer and apply this all over your face if you would like to just to give you a sun kiss glow. I'm doing my brows and this is my Browsing Brow Kit by Benefit and then I'm using my Anastasia Brow Gel to set. Taking Strawberry Sorbet from Dior, I'm going to apply this, well, to the apples of my cheeks. And I love this color, it just ends up giving you a photo finished look and a nice flush. Taking 
my mineralized skin finish in redhead. I'm going to apply this to my nose and the apples of my cheeks. Kiss me out of the bearded barley. A neutral lip liner and mine is from Dior and we're going to line our lips. Line your lips so that your lipstick won't feather out or bleed. Swing the spinning step. You wear those shoes and I wear Taking your Lancome lipstick in 381, this is a Rouge and Love, I'm going to apply this to my lips. This is a very bright color, but I feel that my makeup has complemented it very well. Taking Baby Sparks from MAC, I know you can't see it, but we're going to apply this all over your lips, and it's just a nice neutral pink color, but it just adds that extra shine that I love. So here's the finished lips, and I love them. And here's the eye makeup, and it's just a perfect eye look that complements the very bright, bold lips that we have on. Kiss me. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope this look was easy for you to achieve, and I hope you guys try it out. If you do try it out, I would love to see the pictures. You can, you know, tweet me one of the pictures on my Twitter, which is MacLover65. It, my Twitter, go follow my Twitter down bar below. Also leave a comment below, or if you want to recreate this look, I would love to see how you could recreate it. So leave a video response, because I love watching video responses. So thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Have a fantabulous day, guys, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys!